Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. We are back for day 29 of May Bible Journal. And the prompt for today is the word minister. The selection I picked is in Hebrews chapter 6 verses 10 through 12. For God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown for his name as you have ministered to the saints and continue to do so. We want each of you to show the same diligence to the very end in order to make your hope sure. Then you will not be sluggish, but will imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. So the writer here wants us to inherit what has been promised to us. We don't want to be losing hope. We want to make our hope sure and he says the way to do this is to apply the diligence and to minister to the saints unto the end. So through faith, faith, sorry, through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. So in 1 Peter 4 verses 10 and 11, it emphasizes that each of us, meaning all of us, are to be ministers. It says to use the gifts that we've been given to minister to each other. And my thought is that true ministry involves putting others' needs first. And a good example of this, I thought, would be parents who take care of each other, who take care of their kids, and see that they have everything they need. And of course, Jesus said... If you want to be great in God's kingdom, you have to be the servant of all. So I think these days, because the word minister is used in titles, we forget that it means to serve. We learned that song as kids. If you want to be great in God's kingdom. You got to be a servant of all. Remember the disciples were arguing with one with one another as to who was the greatest. Yeah. We have nothing to argue about in that sense. We're to be a servant of all. All right, so no fancy artwork today, just the bare bones, the word. So hope that blessed you and gave you something to think about. I know it did me. Anyway, so we'll see you next time. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.